Hi, I'm Ann Cloud. I'm a voice actor and I live in this bus and I get asked a lot how I make it work as a voice actor, living full time on the road in the bus with the kids um, and always traveling to a new spot. We're currently in Southern Arizona and as you can see, we are fairly remote where we are parked and this is pretty typical. We like to boondock and we like to be places where there aren't a ton of other people and we can explore and kids can roam free. But a big part of being a voice actor is having a professional home studio. And I get asked a lot how I make voice acting work on the road. Um, so I wanna show you my studio so you can see that it is possible to make it work. So my studio lives inside this cargo trailer. It is a six by 10 cargo trailer that we pull behind uh, our Toyota Sequoia, which I drive. My husband drives the bus. I wish I was cool enough to drive the bus, but it totally freaks me out. And then my booth is inside. And we have installed an air conditioner on top, which is handy. Uh, inside here is my office. And you'll see down there is um, a little heater, which is also handy. Depending on where we're parked, um, having a heater or uh, air conditioner can be really great. I had to close the door. It was too bright outside. <laughs> I have my computer. I have a great window. I love having a window in my office so I can see what the kids are up to. Usually something wild and crazy. We had that window added to the cargo trailer as well and it is critical for getting a breeze in here. And having this little office space that's separate from my recording booth is also really nice. This is my sound isolation booth. It's a single walled whisper room. It's pretty good. It really works well uh, to keep the sound, the extra, the excess sound out, which sometimes doesn't matter. We're in incredibly quiet locations. Sometimes we're parked next to a river or ATVs going by and they're so loud or the kids are outside. Really, that's the most, that's the loudest of all of the possibilities is my kids outside being crazy. So the whisper room really helps with that. The other thing that really helps is my microphone. I have a Sennheiser 416, which is a shotgun mic. This microphone is really great at getting the sound you want and, you know, not picking up a lot of ambient sound. I have a monitor in here, which is helpful so I can keep my computer out in the office. I have a little camera up here on top so I can do Zoom calls from inside. This is my current interface. It's a Focusrite Solo, and it has worked great for me, actually. It's a really inexpensive interface. Just recently, yesterday, actually, upgraded to the Apollo Solo, and I haven't started using it yet because it's intimidating to me, but I will soon. And then you can see I also have sound panels on every wall, a thick wool rug on the floor, and just some extra acoustic foam and bass traps. Trying to figure out how to get a good shot from here in the booth was difficult, and it's not a great shot, but this is the best I've got. So now I'm inside the Whisper Room, and this is recording with the Sennheiser 416. So it's a real different sound quality than the iPhone, clearly. And my noise floor, which is the voice actor word for what the sound is when you're not making any sound. I think is the easiest way to explain it. Um, it's really quiet. <laughs> um, I think it is typically around negative 70 dB. So it's pretty quiet here in the booth. From this booth, uh, while on the road, I have recorded commercials, e-learnings, corporate narration, uh, explainer videos, audiobooks, children's books, probably some other stuff too. Uh, and it works out really well. So now you know. You too can live in a bus, have your office and studio in a cargo trailer, and live on the road and provide high quality recordings to your clients. Voice acting makes it possible. Let me know if you have any questions. 